Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's doing super awesome day. Uh, Norby and I decided that we needed to do a face or a YouTube live. We normally do Facebook live, but we thought we would um, hang out with our YouTube friends and show you what is in the May BarkBox Super Chewer. Um, if we look a little out of breath, both of us, we just got back from a quick walk because it's been a very busy day, and I thought we both needed to burn off a little bit of extra energy uh, before we came here and visited with all of you. So as you guys get here, you can post in the chat any questions you have, and um, let us know. Are you guys getting a subscription of some sort, whether that be BarkBox or Pet Treater or any other company out there? We'd love to hear what you guys like to get for your dog. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Paula Nowak. I'm the owner of Canine Country Academy. We help people build better relationships with their dogs through the use of positive reinforcement. And we offer group classes, private lessons, um, seminars, so many great things. So um, check out some of our other videos to learn more how to have a better relationship with your dog. But tonight, let's get right to the topic of our Super Chewer Bark Box. So while Norby like rubs his body all over the place, that's just something he does. He's a toy fox terrier. He's um, a little over two and a half. And um, he has taught me a lot since we got this kiddo when he was a baby. So um, whew, I thought I knew things until I got him. <laughs> so tonight, Super Chewer Bark Box. We decided to do the Super Chewer. We've tried a bunch of other ones. And we thought, you know what? Let's go back to Bark Box and see what they have. The Super Chewer has been really nice because we get chews, we get um, toys that are harder to destroy, and the customer service has been phenomenal because our dogs range in size from six pounds up to 21 pounds, and they have to share a box. So I've had to ask them to change up our box recently because I kept having to give away toys that were just too heavy or too large for our dogs. The chews and the treats have been fine, but the actual toys have been just a little much for these smaller terriers. Um, so this is our first one that they changed up. So they said they would put a softer toy in addition um, to our other thing. So in the Super Chewer Bark Box, um, we get two shoes, two bags of their treats, and then two toys. You can add other things. You can um, personalize a little bit. If your dog has any allergies, you can also do that. Or if your family has allergies, you know, if you had a net allergy or something. But um, let's just dig right in, guys. So let me get Norby over here. Hey, Norby, can you come over here, honey? And I love doing these live because it's my first time looking in it as well. I still have to tape on it when I hit go live. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So let me get it so you can see Norby here versus me. You know, he's the celebrity in this. So he loves it. He was super excited. He was the chosen one. As soon as I got the box out, he knew what it was all about. Good job, bud. Okay, let's move this a little bit. I know. Isn't it super fun? And I'd love to know what kind of dogs you guys have. We have two toy fox terriers and two rat terriers. One's the rat terrier mix. Oh, my goodness. So each month, there's a theme, and Norby's just going to, like, take it all apart. Woo, that looks fun. Oh, my gosh. This is hilarious. Octo Gus, he is gonna destroy this in two seconds, but it's gonna be awesome. It's got one of those little balls. Hold on, kiddo. <laughs> Let's let the viewers see. See this little guy? Isn't that adorable? So inside, I can already feel it. it. And our dogs love these. Are those balls that have like a little porcupine? So it's got no fluff, which is awesome for cleanup. Um, it's got crinkle, which you can hear. Oh, he's so excited! And a spiky ball. Let's just get to it. He says. Are you ready, bud? Come over here. Yeah. Yeah, so exciting. Can we just take the tag off? Yeah. Oh man, it's the best. We might not even see Norby for a minute. <laughs> Let me fix this here. All right, cool. So, um, hey Jan, thank you. How much is the bark box? Um, so I believe it depends. So it definitely depends on how many months you do. And I'll post in the description after we finish our live. Um, our code is going to be loud in here now. Um. So we did a six-month subscription, and I want to say it's about $30. Um, we paid up front for this. <laughs> he likes it. He's a fan. Uh, we paid up front for the subscription, so we also saved more money. But you could do month by month, which is obviously the most expensive, and then six months, and then 12 months. 
And then for us, if you use our um, code, we get a free box. And so then once you get your subscription, you can give your friends your code and they get free boxes. How cool is that? It's a great referral program. He loves that thing. It's really cute. So clearly the theme has something to do with like space. Um, so let's see what else is in here. Whoa, this is interesting. Uh, super Chewer Treat Lock Hermit Crab. Did you guys have hermit crabs when you were growing up? I had multiples. I have really funny stories about that for another day. Oh, Norby's just taking it all out. So this, let's see what, okay, so let me show you guys. This is called a Treat Lock Hermit Crab. There's the front. Here's the back. And let me tell you, I, I don't, I've never seen this. So, oh, bud. So we're trying to eat the chew through the, okay, you're going to have to have, you're going to be put on pause. <laughs> He's so excited. Whoever I pick of our four dogs always loves to be the chosen one. So we try to rotate. All right. So open your treat lock toy by twisting counterclockwise. Place the treat uh, lock treat. Okay, so there's a specific treat for this. And close your treat lock toy by twisting clockwise, obviously. Um, and we can order more through the reorder program. So let's see what this looks like first. I adore interactive toys. I love anything that's enrichment. Oh, this is not easy. Woo! But ugh, I'm using all my muscles, and it's not very many. I know. Okay, here we go. Whoa, get some momentum. You might have to find someone who has some muscles for this sucker. All right, so the, the treat that we're going to find in a moment is going to go in here and we'll do it. Um, it's heavy, but I think it's appropriately sized for a small dog. Normie, Normie, Norby weighs um, 12 pounds, just for a frame of reference. So we'll check this out. You can check it right now. Something's in your ear and tickling you again, huh? All right, so let's see what he was trying to get out. He was trying to get this canine bacon roll, and it's small. He was trying to eat it. I know, it's so good. I try not to let them have all of it at the same time. I make them share. So this is from Jones. I like Jones because it is a U.S.-based product. So it's a little chew. Give you an idea of how big it is. And you'll get this later. I'm going to have to put it up on my desk because he's going to eat right through it. Okay, there's more, honey. There's more. So we've gotten through two toys and one chew so far. Right. Hold on, kiddo. He's like, I'm the next. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is going to tell us they typically have ooh, they typically have a um, little pamphlet that tells you what the theme is, and there's also additional toys that you can buy off of BarkBox's website. It's their Bark Shop. Um, you can also find some of this stuff at Target. So keep an eye out. They tend to have fun toys. So they have um, the the hermit thing, which is supposed to be like. So I thought it was like aliens, but it's um, clearly not. It's the bottom of the sea. They have um, a trench fish. I've never heard of a trench fish, have you? Um, a flotus blowfish and a madden fish. So these are some other things you can get. They're kind of fun. Take a look at those. So each month they have a theme, and this one is um, you know, from the abyss. I think that's cute. All right, next up. Ooh, okay, hold on, Norby. I know, you're starving. He hasn't had dinner yet. Um, this is pork and salmon, taste from the deep. So remember I said if your dog has a food allergy, you can actually ask them um, to choose things other than that. This is pork, coconut glycerin, tapioca starch, potato starch, pea starch, etc. So I like that you can read the ingredients. So it's things you know. And um, it looks like it's little goldfish, and Norby's all about it. He's waiting. You're being pretty good. I know. What kind, of, what kind of trick should you do? You want to do a trick for the camera? For your, oh, that was nice. Sit. Good. Shake. Yeah. Oh, that was double. Sit. Shake. Nice. What a gentleman. He knows a lot. Oh, these are cute. So let me show. I'll give you one, and then I'll show them what it looks like. What? It smells pretty good. It almost smells like barbecue. <laughs> I like to smell the treats because I want to know if the dogs would like it. Oh, hold on. Don't press anything. <laughs> All right, so it's like a little goldfish. It's very cute. And uh, he says they are awesome. Let's see who else has joined us. Um, thank you for joining all of our friends out there. So the pork and salmon is a hit. You want to do another trick? Spin. Reverse. Yeah. 
Good job. His siblings will like it. It's chewy. Uh, my dogs really enjoy stinky, meaty, chewy treats. Let's see what else we got. A few more things here. All right, the next deep of this thing is a deep clean. This is a dental chew. And uh, it's sweet potato oyster, oyster shells. That's interesting. Finely ground, dried citrus pulp, pumpkin spice, and coconut oil. So very simple. That's all the ingredients. Um, and it looks like a hard, almost like a hard bully stick, if you will, but it's not. Show you guys. So it's kind of, I'll, I'll uh, open it because we'll give it to someone to chew or we'll spread the well. He's like, yes, spread the well. Definitely can't break it. <laughs> so I'll probably give this to Curly, our 21 pound dog. Let's put this up here so you can't get it. And it's nice if we can share. You can add more things if you'd like. Whoops. And it's based on the size of your dog. So um, you can do regular bark box, which is going to be things that would have soft toys. Um, this, again, is the super chewer. And they always have this little paper insert that um, will look like the theme. So here it is on one side, the abyss. And then here's like the actual abyss. So this one goes up and down. So it's kind of fun. You know, you could do something fun with this if you had kids or wanted to maybe um, do something fun with it if you did like maybe some sort of action figures or something. Maybe not dog related. I really, before I get to the last um, thing that goes into that interactive toy, is I love the boxes. If you are someone who does canine scent work or nose work, this is a great box for that because um, it's got a nice flap. It opens wide. It's not too deep. And you can put, you know, their food in there to find or you could put um, your odor if you're at that level. If you guys do scent work, you totally should use these boxes. They're really nice boxes. All right. Final thing. I know. Your ear's bugging yet. He keeps getting these tickles in his ear. There's no infection or anything. Just maybe a hair. Something. What are you putting down those? Oh, this is not the right thing. Okay. So here's that little treat lock thing. So this is peanut flavor. Now, we don't have any food allergies for dogs or people at our house, but this would definitely be something to ask them not to provide you if you had someone in your family with a peanut allergy. Um, I will let you know in the comments down below. I'll look up um, what other flavors they have because you might be able to purchase different flavors. I've never seen this, so it's totally new to me. There's actually um, multiple lock toys, it looks like. See there? There's multiples. We have one of them. And then in here, it says that there's 10 treats. Um, the ingredients are potato flour, powdered cellulose, vegetable glycerin, water, brown rice flour, etc. cetera. The, the peanut flavor is kind of lower on the list. It's got parsley and cumin in it. Um, but our, our dogs are obsessed with peanut butter. Peanut butter and cream cheese, if that's all they had to eat, they would be in heaven. I know, this is so new. We've never done one like this. Oh, these are super cute. BarkBox pretty much makes all their stuff, which I think is kind of cool from a business perspective. Um, oh, <laughs> sit, wait. So here's, and it's a hard disc. This is cool that there's 10 of them, because that means the other dogs can have a turn. So um, I'm a rookie at this, but you're gonna put it in here, I believe. Boy, I know it's so exciting. So you put it in here. And then we're gonna put this other part on top and it just screws in. It's kind of a funky thing. Whoever created this is very interesting. I don't know how he's gonna get this. It's fascinating. We'll have to see. So see, there's not much space there. Like how is he gonna get that? I don't know. People who've also got this, let me know what your dogs think. All right, I don't know, dude, you're gonna have to try this. Thankfully, he's very smart. I'll move out of your way so you guys can see. I don't know, dude. And then it's got a top to it, almost like you could put like a chew in it. I'll have to do more research and share with you guys another video. I know, you want to just eat the thing. Try it. I don't know, honey. It's different. It's so interesting. I like getting things like this because it makes me think like, how does this work? He's trying it. He knows it's in there. It smells good. It smelled like peanut butter for sure. I don't know, man. This is fascinating. Maybe you could put some treats. Here, let me try putting your fish in there too. Maybe it's like two for one. That would be pretty cool. Excuse me. Thank you. 
I don't know, honey. I'm gonna have to break these up. This is so interesting. We'll have to do a follow-up video on this because I don't know, guys. If you guys have any tips out there, please let me know. He is hilarious, Jan. You're totally right. No, no fleas. For sure not. Um, it's just, and it's typically his left ear. It doesn't smell. It's not red. He hasn't been itching it. He, he is due for a bath, so, you know, maybe that's the problem. He tends to be stinky like a goat. <laughs> He's such a boy. He's such a boy. Right, okay. Try. I broke them up, so hopefully he can get some out. He's pretty persistent. He hasn't gotten anything out yet. I can hear them moving around in there. Oh, there's one. I don't know where that came from, but he got one, so that's good. I love interactive toys. Uh, our last couple of boxes, we just started getting them, I think January, February. And um, we've had some. We had like a car that had um, a place to put treats, and then they fell out. Um, last month or the month before, we had one that it was pretty heavy, though. Um, they still were okay with it. But um, it was a little more challenging where this, I feel like, is the right size for them to interact with. But it's kind of challenging. So I'm going to do some research. And if I can't find anything from other people's um, BarkBox videos, I will reach out to them. But I'll let you guys know um, in case you get this or want to buy it. You know, if you don't want a whole BarkBox, you can just buy, you know, whatever you see in our videos, right? So do you guys have any questions about the bark box that I haven't answered? Please post them in the comments. I will glance over and see what you guys are saying. Uh, let's see. Maybe, so Jen, what do you mean? Or um, Jen, sorry, my, my uh, I need to wear my glasses on this. Um, maybe he has to unscrew it. I don't know. He is definitely persistent. Definitely. But I don't think he's getting much out. That's so annoying. Right, bud? That's super annoying. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll keep him busy for a while. I don't know, honey. Let's unscrew it a little bit. Maybe Jen's got the right idea. I don't know. There's not much to screw or unscrew. And see, there's a hole here, and then there's a hole here. And then you have this little area. I'm like, I don't even know how you get a tooth in there. I almost feel like the, the peanut butter thing should be a little bigger. I don't know. Interesting. So we do these every single month. We either do it live. Well, we've pretty much done it live. This is our first YouTube live. So thank you guys for attending. Um, we like to do things live. Uh, maybe the next time you guys can pick the topic. Maybe there's something you want to talk about. Maybe potty training or behavioral issues or just how to teach something. I would love to be of service to you. And um, check out our videos of our previous boxes to see what we've been up to and the other dogs who got to uh, explore the box and their reaction to things. Well, he is, like, getting angry now. He's getting angry. And um, we post a video every Monday and every Thursday. So make sure you subscribe so that you can keep track. You'll get an email letting you know when one of our videos goes live. We do all kinds of videos. I'm open to ideas. We show what our classes are like. We do how-tos. We go to events. We just like to keep it fresh. So let us know what you might like to see. And thank you so much for tuning in on this Friday evening. I hope it's great. I hope you have a great weekend planned. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.